Anamorphine follows the story of Elena and Tyler, a couple moving to Montreal to further Elena's career as a cello player. The move strains the relationship, and when an accident occurs, each of them begin to fall into a depressive spiral. Of the strangely numerous games tackling mental illness this year, I found Anamorphine to be the most compelling. Not because it tackles the subject well, its take is hackneyed and obvious, but because it translates emotional spaces into physical ones so potently. Through space and image alone, I began to understand the inner lives of Elena and Tyler. Each scene is an explorable still life, frozen except for the pulsating colors of Elena's hair. I understood how Tyler's world revolved around Elena, with only her allowed expression in the world of faceless visages. Emotional states are communicated in the way the surreal begins to intrude upon the familiar. Anamorphine also flows like a single thought. Each space folds into the next like a continuous corridor, communicating the passing of time or changes of setting, which only made it more abrupt when the memory ends and the scene freezes into a still image hanging on a gallery wall.